Hi, this is Astro Brie, and here is your October 16th Libra New Moon horoscope. Uh, this is for the air signs. We are moving on to Aquarius. Well, Aquarius, Neptune is still sitting in your sixth house, making you comp contemplate and recontemplate because it's now in retrograde. Recontemplate what it means to have value at all. What is what is spiritual value? What is value of the ethers? What is value of the uh, intangible? You're still reeling with that, but this is going to be a big theme for you because this week we're going to speak on it. Being that that's happening um, in your second house, there's also like this new moon. This new moon is happening in your ninth house. So there's new philosophies. There's philosophies of old and new philosophies of things you feel and philosophies of things you know coming together. Uh, there's a merging there and you're going to find that you're very driven for the autonomy of your own thought process. Uh, Mars is retrograde and uh, Lilith retrograde are going to be happening in your third house um, across from this new moon. So there is there's fundamental like thought processing and that's changing, that's changing your higher dynamic. And it might also change the way you see uh, the world as well as travel and distance and space in general. Um, basic fundamentals are being revised. You're gonna get larger ideas. Uh, there's gonna be, like all of this Capricorn stuff has been going on in your 12th house, right? So you've been watching the world undo from like kind of a, a disconnected disassociated situation um which is great you know till this stuff comes into your sign in a couple of years now but whatever we'll get there um uh, but aquarius you're going to see that you find your hermit modes much more comfortable um <clears throat> you're gonna have revelations about releasing people you're gonna be revealing new spiritual truths you may find yourself going into a hermit mode it's not a bad thing, Aquarius, but like Mercury retrograde is, is happening in your 10th house. Um, so for you, there is a, everybody's kind of seeing you change your mind about this. Does that make sense? Aquarius is the collective and the collective is very much in a shifty weird place right now we're all very discombobulated and not many of us are agreeing on much and everyone's kind of keeping themselves and changing their own plans simultaneously uh and for you you're gonna you're gonna really recognize this and be able to apply it in your own new philosophy so like you may see a bit of a travel and change as as a new thing that's coming up but for me for for my uh best advice is to just work on figuring out what that spiritual self-worth is because there's something about understanding the cosmic connection of everything that gives you a, a, a superior value of yourself it also gives you the ability to talk so profoundly because you've got these signs are lining up in your second and and third house that's your voice and your thought process right so if you've got mars changing up the way that you um, think and you've got Mercury changing up the way that you speak, you're going to, yeah, judge. it would be better to just sit this one out, Aquarius. Anyways, that's my uh, horoscope for you. I hope you found it uh, helpful. Uh, <laughs> follow me on all my things. I'll see you later. Have a good one.